SOLIDWORKS CAM Professional 2026 introduces new capabilities for our turning environment. Instead of defaulting to a jaw chuck, which we can see here for our work holding, we can now use collets instead. When defining our machine in SOLIDWORKS CAM, we can navigate over to our fixture tab to change the type of work holding we're using. As you can see, this three jaw chuck is present in standard mode, but if we expand this list, we can see that collets are now available. If we hit this pencil icon, it allows us to edit our collet settings. You can see that we can choose between R8 and 5C style collets. And if we expand this list, we can see a pre-configured amount. Now, none of these are going to quite fit the large size of my part here. So I'm going to customize these settings in our collet parameters, and we'll create a new one to continue onwards with. After updating our parameters, let's go ahead and save this collet to our TechDB. Since we have our part ready for turning, let's take a look at another great enhancement in SOLIDWORKS CAM Pro 2026. When machining, we generate burrs, and frequently these burrs can harm our work holding, they can harm our machinists, and they can even bring parts out of spec in downstream operations. If we edit our operation parameters and take a look at our NC tab, we can see that there is a new section here called bar break. Now let's take a look at our toolpath first without the bar break. We can see that if we bring our tool preview, that we get clean motions, but we go straight up from our parts and retreat back. The bar break functionality allows us to add a chamfer to each of these parts. I'm going to crank up this value so it's more visible. It is a percentage of my turning tool's nose radius, but I want the effects to be visible. We can see here now that we have a slight chamfer to all of our tool paths so that we can keep burrs from forming. SOLIDWORKS CAM Professional 2026 is a really exciting release, and I hope that these enhancements to productivity will make your programming that much easier. CamWorks 2026 introduces one-of-a-kind functionality, Swiss machine programming capabilities right inside of your SOLIDWORKS desktop environment. CamWorks' new Swiss machining environment doesn't just bring their best-in-class programming automation to a new type of machine. Innovative new features like the Segmentation Manager automatically splits up toolpaths so our parts are best supported for maximum material removal and surface finish quality. We can position our segmentation planes either numerically or by using model features. After positioning our segmentation planes, we can select which operations are affected. We can even preview our splits before coming out of the dialog. When programming on complex machines, we can now bring the entire 3D model of our Swiss or any kind of machine into our programming environment. We can check our full machine motion and for clashes in, all inside of SOLIDWORKS while simulating. Live tooling, gang tooling, and subspindles are all presented in a single view. Inspecting our simulation results is easier than ever. With section views, our parts allow us to ensure that our interior features are manufactured correctly. CamWorks leading integration with SOLIDWORKS even means that we can leverage our model's associativity. A new configuration or updating our design dimensions means that even in this complex manufacturing environment, all our tool pads are automatically updated. Whether you're using a mill, lathe, mill turn, or Swiss machine, CamWorks simplifies your CAM experience with all the benefits of SOLIDWORKS environment and associativity.
Camworks has never been better, and we can spend less time programming and more time making parts. I am pleased to introduce Go Engineer's newest design and cam partner, SWOOD. SWOOD provide a purpose-built environment within SOLIDWORKS for furniture production, with a particular eye for mass customization to leverage the most out of your digital manufacturing workflow. Easy to use, click and drag commands automatically build furniture before your eyes. Leverage industry standard features, best practices in joinery to rapidly create furniture for any customer's needs. Utilize your company's standard parts to ensure consistent styling, even in made to order environments. Fully connected to SOLIDWORKS parametric and associative environment, SWOOD automatically updates your entire design when parameters are updated. If you need to furnish an entire room, venue, or building, SWOOD's innovative layout mode allows designers to place sketches and begin designing in situ. Utilize layout sketches to locate and size your design library for custom-built furniture. After your design is done, SWOOD's CAM environment is purpose-built for furniture manufacture. SWOOD CAM recognizes furniture-specific features and generates optimized toolpathing to create them. SWOOD CAM supports multi-head and up to five access routers in the software, and these machines are accurately simulated. Once you've programmed your part, you can bring your NC code into any machine interface to verify your cut accuracy before ever hitting cycle start. And just like the design environment, SWOOD CAM is fully parametric and automatically updates toolpaths according to your parts design changes. SWOOD's specialized design and manufacturing environment brings SOLIDWORKS automation to our craftspeople. I'm really excited for the capabilities SWOOD is going to bring to our SOLIDWORKS customers. Delmia has had a banner year for updates. Our first features give us new capabilities for defining tool lifetime and costing for our machine time. Built into our Delmia machining environments are tools to accurately estimate the costs and enforce tool lifetime specifications. We can set our cutter costs right inside of our tool creation or modification dialog. In this same tool creation dialog, we can also set our maximum tool cutting length. This ensures that our parts remain on spec and that cutters can be replaced before they make scrap. Combine our maximum lifetime specifications with our cutter cost, and we can now accurately amortize the cost of the cutter over every single part it makes. And we have new tools to accurately reflect our machining costs as well. If you calculate your hourly cost to reflect whatever you have, like wear and tear on the machines, utility costs, wages for tenders. We can set this right inside of our machine definition for easy access and updates. And just like our NC code outputs and setup sheets, our costing information is saved to that machining cell and gets all of our platform controls to ensure that our single source of truth is right there in 3D on the manufacturing cell. AI has taken the world by storm and we have been getting routine feature updates including it in Delmia. Last year we got AI suggestions for CAM operations based on part geometry, but this year takes it to a new level. Once we've set a program, we can use AI to examine our strategy and it will provide suggestions. In this example, the software found a toolpath that can reduce our machining time for that operation from a little over two minutes to just over 45 seconds. 
Minimized cycle time means maximized productivity, and we can use AI as a force multiplier on the shop floor. Delmia has updated their user interface to streamline job setup. Searching for parts, cells, machines, accessories, tools, and even robots are now automatically filtered at the appropriate steps. We're even able to reuse our last search. If a desired component is open in another tab, we can also retrieve it from a list of what is open in session. No need to click over to a different tab or drag in from another interface. Users additionally can add favorites for quick use in future jobs, such as favorite fixtures or end mills or commonly used work holding. These new capabilities get us programming faster and dramatically increase productivity. And as all machinists know, bringing down setup time is a sure winner for everyone. Okay, this next update from Delmia is really cool. Delmia now supports not just cobots for unloading and reloading your machine, but multiple robots for machining with synchronized motions. You can use the synchronization view to manage complex motions from your robots right inside of your CAM environment without changing apps. The simultaneous simulation of toolpaths, robots, and robot platforms brings a new level to Delmia's incredible manufacturing capabilities. Each year brings new advances in automation technology, and Delmia provides the backbone for maximizing that in your shop. This year, turning in Delmia has hit a new level for minimizing cycle times by adding zigzag toolpaths. Zigzag toolpaths are a roughing strategy, which allow your tools not just to remove material on the forward stroke, but also on the back stroke, which removes time-wasting rapid moves, which are not cutting anything, to sequentially rough out a part. As always, make sure your cutting inserts support this kind of cutting action, but this is an enormous gain in productivity for anyone producing parts on a lathe. For Delmia's final update this year, we have a brand new connector between Delmia and Vericut. You can now package your completed programs out into Vericut for full G-code machine simulation. This is a huge win for the entire industry, and I'm really thrilled to be able to bring this update to you.